then stand over here. Yay, I'm doing it. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> so, a quick word about yin and yang energy, which is yang energy is the masculine energy. It's the sun, it's the, it's the movement. It's like picture a little four-year-old boy running into a room full of kids and going, everybody run around, right? That's yang, pure yang energy. And then yin energy is the passive, it's the reflective, it's the ocean and the moon. It's the feminine energy. When we talk about the body, medically in the body, yang energy is cellular metabolism. It's those cells turning over, it's the repair and rebuild. Yin is the substance, it's the blood, it's the body fluids, it's the organs. So now we're going to jump forward and think about our plant in the terms of yin and yang. So what would be some, some uh, yin aspects of the plant? Ocean. Yes. Yeah. Well, and that would be a very good mixture of yang and yin, right? Mm -hmm. It's a very turbulent time. And then, and then that yang aspect. What would be some examples of yang, yang places or yang things happening? Oh, that's the fire. That's the uh, uh, high winds. Yeah. Right. So, so we're gonna call that yang excess. Yang excess. Now. What happens with the planet, with the place that we've been going through with the planet, is that the yin of the planet has been burning up a little bit. We're getting hotter. And one of the reasons that this is happening is because of things that, um, the things that we've done, like we have a lot more concrete, and that raises the overall temperature of the planet. And that increase in the temperature of the planet burns up the yin and it raises the yang. So we want yin and yang ideally to be in balance with one another, yin and yang. When we talk about, that's kind of a, a more superficial thing. Uh, there are some things that we do with our planet that really steals the essence of the yin. And this has to do with some of the techniques that we use to pull oil and, and fracking, right? These are like essence, essence, um, robbers. And what happens over time is we see this yin and yang affecting this imbalance, affecting the planet so that it dries up, it becomes brittle, and it starts really feeling out of balance. And we get these more turbulent weather conditions. You may have noticed that the topic of the stated topic of my conversation today is does anybody know what it is? Sacred skin care. And here I am talking about things going on with the planet, and how can that be? Well, we are, of course, microcosms. We are, of course, holographic representations. And in the same way, our yin and our yang can get imbalanced. So for example, I had a lady come to me and she had a skin condition called lichen planus, which is, um, I always think of it as, you know, when you go to school and you have these like little memory techniques. Um, this one is, do you know that song that goes, there was a one-eyed, one horse blind for oh, people yeah. later. Yeah, okay, that one. <laughs> um, because this skin disease, it's known as the five P's. So it's the flying purple people eater, right? It's the five P's, and um, it tends to have a purplish tinge to it. It's also what's called pyritic, which is really, really, really itchy. And it starts out in one area, and then it covers the whole body, including even the mouth and the genitals. Um, it's one of the skin diseases that is has the highest rate of suicide associated with it. Because, I mean, when it's horrible all the time and there's no escape, and there's no escape, then you're stuck with it. So this person, so I want you to think about this for a moment in terms of this yin and yang, right? Mm -hmm. Did she have uh, too much yang or too little yang? Too much. Too much. Too much. Yes. Did she have too much yin or too little yin? Too little. Too little. Okay, look, you've got it. You've got, because this is the beauty and the glory of a medicine that has its roots in the fundamental simplicity of the human body and the creation of the entire cosmos, is it's just yin and yang. And we can break it down very, very, very intricately, but at the heart of it, it's fundamentally simple. You have just accurately diagnosed, this, diagnosed a situation of lichen planus, and the herbs that were prescribed to her were herbs that both diminished yang and nourished yin in order to bring her back into balance and to decrease that itchiness and to bring some supplements back to her skin. 
Now, um, this, uh, this herbal therapy took place after three years of Western therapy. And honestly, I didn't know how much I could help her because three years of antibiotics and steroids wow. are really rough on the skin. Do you know what steroids do to the skin? No. Do you know what it does to the it immune system? Screws it up. It screws up your immune yeah. system, yeah. And what were you going to say? It thins out. It yeah. thins the skin. It thins the skin. So if you're trying to, ladies, what's our biggest problem as we age with the skin? Yeah, it thins. It thins. So we got this, the thinning problem and everything gets kind of like crepey and dries up. And so, um, so I didn't know. But here's what I did know is that after three years of being prescribed antibiotics and steroids, the shoe is in failing. And, and I really want to honor that because it takes courage. It takes courage to look it in the face and to say, I'm failing at this, right? Like we got to, we got to be in safe enough space to say this is not working. Um, I, I, I'm currently training for Army in Florida and I, and about every day somebody says, why? <laughs> why are you doing that? At least each one of my practitioners have asked me this a couple of times <laughs> or not stated the question, but looked at me with a look in the eye. And the, and the truth of the matter is because the, that's what unequivocally, unequivocally requires me to be honest with myself and to immediately notice failure. If I did not make my bike ride, then I failed and I, I know to correct it immediately, right? So this is what we're all aiming for is to be in safe enough space that we can look at ourselves with love and honesty and to choose our course correction quickly rather than get way off. Um, so three years, nothing's working. And then the next thing that was prescribed was a chemotherapy drug. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, that sounds like a really bad idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, at any time, but definitely knowing her medical history and knowing that we had immune issues to begin with going on on the planet right now. So. So when she started on her herbal therapy, here was a really cool thing that happened, which is that there was a softening first in her skin. She was a person, she's not very aware of her body. So it was, it would, intake would go like this. Okay, so are you having any itching? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It really looked exactly like that. And, and we all have those things, right? Like we all have those blind spots that we're like, no, I don't, I don't itch at all. It's not a thing. I was just thinking just then. That's, that's, I was just, oh, my waistband, you know, like, it's just like, so, um, so the itching decreased, but the other really cool thing that happened was that there was a softening also of her personality and of her defenses. And I got to see, I got to witness that. Um, so, okay. I know I'm about to be doing, yeah. Okay. So I promised that these would be short today so that we could have lovely time to get up and move and flow. We're going to have some beautiful Qigong exercises, but I did also promise you the opportunity to move on, to move forward. Um, our, our, uh, our other practitioners are going to be offering you special classes to do with them. And honestly, because I'm training for Ironman Florida, I don't have time to do a class right now, <laughs> even though I really love doing them. So here's what I do have. Uh, for those of you who are not yet clients of mine, then I have a gift for you that you can, if you sign up for your initial appointment today, then you get a gift of $50 off. But there's another cool thing too, which is that as you might've noticed on your tour, there's an infrared sauna and there's also a Beamer therapy room. And these are ways to help your body detoxify and to get to know yourself better, right? To move you forward on your healing journey. Um, usually those kinds of sessions are about $40 each. Uh, if you would like to sign up for a package of five of those, you can be your choice of whether it's infrared sauna or beamer, you can use them how you like, then we'll offer you all five of those for just $80 today. The only thing that I ask is that you allow me to energy measure you for the appropriate settings on the beamer or the infrared sauna to make, forward, make sure we're moving forward in safety. Okay, would you please pass those out? So, um, all you have to do with this little slip of paper is if you would like to take advantage of either of those offers, just hand it to Kira, our beautiful master of ceremonies, mistress of ceremonies. It sounds a bit lewd, I don't know. <laughs> mistress of ceremonies. Sounds like it's a different kind of event. Um, but just, just check that off and hand it to her and she'll make sure that you get all taken care of. And now, without further ado, please help yourself to more yummy, yummy snacks or uh, chakra clearings with the wonderful chakra. Would you mind taking a moment to, to tell us about the chakra clearings that you're doing so that sure. people know what the opportunity is? Um, 